Hey everybody, G4 Video 5 here, and welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the definitive edition. In this part, we will be completing the mission The Fastest Boat for Ricardo Diaz. That's so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, hey, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen. You know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your pigeons are back. You know, they really like giving Diaz these constipation noises to make in between some of his lines and his cutscenes. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this mission's pretty cool because there's a strategy that we can use that makes it to where we can cheese this mission quite nicely by making this mission a lot faster and easier to complete. And so the concept here is that Tommy needs to infiltrate this boatyard that contains the fastest boat, but it also contains a bunch of enemies crawling up the ass. And so we need to get past these enemies to get to that fastest boat to steal and take back to Diaz's mansion. So before we get to the boatyard, I'm going to be picking up some body armor right here down the street, as uh, it's always nice to have a, a little bit of extra protection there, maybe a second prophylactic. You can't trust those cheap escorts. And so now that we have that, we should be good to go in terms of infiltrating this boatyard area. Now, like I mentioned, there are quite a few enemies here, and we will be taking care of a few of them by performing drive-bys on them. But you don't necessarily even have to do that. But I'd prefer to do that just to play it extra safe when stealing this fastest boat, as what we're going to do is just run on over to the corner of this gated area and then spam the enter vehicle button to make it to where Tommy just kind of teleports through that gate and pops into the uh, old squalo here that we're stealing to take back to Diaz's mansion. So yeah, that, that little um, exploit of the I guess, enter vehicle radius that the Squallow has makes it to where this mission is very trivial, as the intended method of completing this mission is to find a button to press within the boatyard that will lower the Squallow into the water. But there's no need to do that since you can exploit the Squallow's radius. So, very cool stuff there. That completes this part. In the next part, we will be doing the next Diaz mission, which is called Supply and Demand. So until then, I will see you next time.